We have already visited some highlights of South Vietnam, but now... It's absurd! Like, it's the opposite of what I thought! We're in for another unexpected experience. Coming up. their traditional boats which are round and like a coconut yeah thank you thank you hello hello is it really from here? Really from here? I mean, there's coconut balls there. Sweden. Sweden. And Italy. 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 Sorry, already money. Five hundred. I wonder. Uh, I think we need to go in. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sorry, family. Already uh, coconut ball. Already okay. coming up all family yeti. Oh family, okay. Yeah. Okay, coconut. Sorry? Ah. He's coconut ball. Yeah. Already. Ah. Oh that Already made it. Man. Ah made it but from him, from yeah. his family. Oh wow, so ah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see ya, bye. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Couldn't get more traditional than this. Oi, 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 coconut. Hey, coconut. Hey. Italia. Italia, Italia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Italia. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's many boats here. Yeah, so many. All tourists. <laughs> All tourists. Oh, look at the young. Coconuts. Wow. Yeah, coconuts there, okay. okay. <laughs> Even though this place hosts many tourists, locals used to move on these boats made out of bamboo to pass by shallow waterways and to fish and collect palm leaves commonly used for house roofing. <laughs> Here. I don't know. Collecting money. Ah. Oh my god, Gangnam style. It's the Gangnam style. Here we are thinking that we were going a traditional Vietnamese experience and it's like hey, oh my god! Oh. <laughs> oh my god. What? A good helper. <laughs> so weird to be so close to the water. Yeah, we're not moving very much. <laughs> yeah, good, good. Thank you. Oh, waiting. Waiting here. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> okay. That was absolutely not what we expected. <laughs> yeah, not at all. I feel exhausted. I feel like I've been hardcore farting for like an hour. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was a nice, nice experience. It was yeah. a, a very quick one, to be honest. Like 45 minutes, we were out now. Yeah. But yeah. that's good. Uh, I mean, the one that we got is like with the pickup and drop off where you're staying. Yeah. So we spent 600,000 um, Vietnamese both for both of us transportation yeah. from the hotel and yeah. the, the tour here. It was worth it. Absolutely. Yeah. See ya. Our plans are to go up north. Yes. So we said we were going to Japan. We yeah. had that plan. Yeah. But we canceled that trip. I would say the main reason is to not live in stress. That is for this year we want to eliminate as much as we can to yeah. not feel stressed. So yeah, we're not coming back to Ho Chi Minh and we're going up north to Hanoi but yeah. uh, in the next videos. So click subscribe if you didn't yet and uh, follow our journey. That's yeah. just gonna come up. Dos, uno. <laughs> this guy is so talented. He just did this one in one hour. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. We needed some bookmarks. And uh, hand painted from him as well. Yeah. So. And of course, uh, she, she's very much loving this street. It's full of nice shops, I gotta say. Mm -hmm. wow, Places so very nice, this restaurant. Very aesthetically pleasant, yeah. It's really good for clothes, uh, Vietnam as well, and especially Ho Yan. It's very famous for all the textile industry. Thank you for buying one. For whenever we're gonna find a home. We're going to eat now. In the smallest street there is. Narrowest, sorry. Yeah, with the scooter as well. Careful. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> there was a picture. No, it was a butterfly, not a picture. <laughs> still have my toes. This is such a, a wild experience, this one of Vietnam. It's being a mix of everything, you know? And we notice it's very, very wild. Well, po police, police was telling him that he couldn't park, telling her that he couldn't park there. So cool. Yeah, the honking here, it's uh, quite intense and uh, at a certain point bothering for us Europeans where <laughs> we were not used to honk all the time. Let's eat. I'm ah. done. I get overwhelmed with every, so much people and motos and honking and ah. It's not Either nice. You move or you get hit. That's it. Uh, this sounds, Mamma Mia, they kill me. But yeah, this uh, period here in Vietnam, it's uh, not a relaxing one for us. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. You no, need to you take it out, Mineski. Ah. No, you take it out, Mineski. No, I'm laughing. They're laughing. <laughs> you need to take yeah, it I've out, yeah. Seen. Yeah. <laughs> We were just saying that we are pushing our comfort limits or levels, let's say here we are really getting exposed to many things that are out of our comfort zone a lot. I could really read a lot. Everything from where we're staying to on the streets, some people, all the noises, food, <laughs> like everything is just, but it's such an experience and learning point as well. Yeah, and, and we're feeling all these things because it's not only a holiday that we're doing, but we, we are traveling 24-7 for over a year now. So um, our goal of the searching for our home uh, and uh, having that perspective here obviously makes us notice so many things that um, put us out of the comfort zone that you wouldn't feel if you are in holiday, yeah. you know? So, exactly, yeah. on a holiday maybe we would book a week yeah. in, a, in pain. 
we started paying more, like we were paying more for a really good hotel. Yeah. While now we are, the travels we do are more hardcore and like we do it more in the local way. We yeah. always try to book on Airbnb at people's houses and to get a real feeling about it, which is, it's super nice. But at the same time, after a long time, it gets a bit, wow, we're really pushing ourselves. There's uh, just a little bit of people. Wow. No, thank you, it's okay. Yeah. The act of releasing lanterns into the water symbolizes happiness, health, and good fortune. Lanterns are now part of Huyan tradition brought by Chinese and Japanese merchants when they came to Huyan in the late 14th century. Oh. It smells horrible here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I can't breathe. This is good. Oh, this is a paradise. What is that? This squid. That's octopus. Oh. Because one of my biggest, not fears, but this is octopus. Like, I can't imagine seeing one. So, that you would think that is like your fear. Let's take some water now and some wine. Let's get some wine. <laughs> we got away a little bit from the crowd that was crazy over there. Yeah, we yeah. had a good day exploring and now we're going home having a shower and relaxing. Yeah, relaxing, uh, having some, something fresh to drink. Maybe some calming music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be really nice. Yeah. We hope that you enjoyed these highlights of South Vietnam. They have been really interesting to see and uh, yeah. some top things that we wanted to see for a long time, yes, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, we hope we could give you some tips as well if, if you're planning to come here because Vietnam to be honest I didn't have that much expectation I must say it surpassed my expectations I think it's better than I thought it was at the same time it's louder than I thought it was as well <laughs> Yeah. So it's like both, of both worlds. So I really need each day to just come back and relax because my mind is so overwhelmed. Yeah, it's true. But, but yeah, it's worth, I would say it's definitely worth a visit. So if you didn't yet, click subscribe <sighs> to follow our next journeys. Yes. And leave in the comments what you thought was your best highlight of what you saw so far. Yeah. So we'll see you in the next one. Take care and stay blessed as always. Bye. Bye.